Monday. I'm wearing my Snuggie because it's Snuggie weather. We've actually had a snowstorm for the last um, two-ish days. It finally stopped snowing today. Um, my little sister didn't have school. It's like negative eight degrees outside. It's crazy. I finally got to come home last Thursday and it's been amazing. Like, I can sleep until whenever. I can eat whenever. I can read without feeling like guilty about it. It's amazing. Speaking of reading, the theme this week is the YA books, and uh, I think most of you know who watch this channel that I do another channel um, called Five Awesome YA Fans. So this theme is like really cool to me because it's easy. I made a goal when I first got home from school that I would read 10 books during this month that I'm home. Um, and I've already finished one, and I'm in, in the middle of a second one. The first book I read was Let It Snow. Um, I haven't actually read this book before. Um, I always wanted to, but I wanted to read it during the winter. I went shopping on Thursday with my best friend, and uh, we saw that in Barnes & Noble, and I was like, I'd just gotten paid, and I knew we were going to get a snowstorm, and I was like, this would be perfect for winter break. Um, so yesterday or two days ago, I think it was yesterday when we were getting our snowstorm, um, I just sat on the couch and read all day, like literally from like two in the afternoon until like eight that night and I finished the book and it was really good. I started reading this book last night. Um, it's called My Heartbeat. It was on Barnes and Noble's like summer clearance for like $2 and so I bought it. Um, and yeah, I'm just now reading it because I've had school since I bought it. After I finish My Heartbeat, I plan on finishing the Harry Potter series, uh, you know, because I'm the only one who hasn't finished reading it yet. Um, I still don't, I don't own the seventh one, I don't own the um, sixth one either, but I have it borrowed from a friend. After I'm done with that, I want to move on to the Hunger Games series, which I hear is really, really good and a lot of people like it, and I have the first book, I just haven't read it yet. I want to finish reading Fallout by Ellen Hopkins. Um, I actually got this book before it came out. It's an advanced reader's copy, um, and I still haven't finished it. Not that it's not good. I just, um, again, was busy with school. Like, every time I would pick up a book at school, I would feel guilty because I knew I should be reading a textbook instead. And, yeah, there's other books that I want to read um, while I'm home. I just didn't want to go through all of them because that would probably bore you um, if this isn't already. Uh, my favorite YA books are Looking for Alaska by John Green and This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. Um, I never ever get tired of those books. So, so while I was shopping um, with my best friend on Thursday, we went to this bargain bookstore and they just have like all these random books. Some of them are well known, most of them aren't. Um, and I happened to find, well he happened to find um, this book. It's called um, Pete's A Candy Coated Tale. And it's basically just like a storybook, but the people in it are Pete. And it's really, really cool. Like, I don't know. It's really cool. So I bought it, uh, one, because the, the nerd fighter in me couldn't resist. And also because if I ever happen to meet John or Hank, I want to be able to give this to them. I don't think they own it. I haven't seen them do it in any videos. If you have, let me know. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for me. I'm just gonna go read and hang out with my dogs and relax and be at home. I hope all of you are having a really great, um, time. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys next week. Bye!